Hey YouTube, uh, we're here looking at the Carbon Cub SS UMX and uh, one thing I talked about here the other day when I did a video on this is that these wheels from Dubrow that are not factory wheels, I made the mistake of saying that, I don't know why I did that um, they're kind of heavy so what I was going to do was I was going to take my Dremel tool and increase the depth of the tires so that we can see if that helps a little bit with the weight issue that I seem to be having with this plane so I wanted to show you how that turns out keep watching I'll pause it while I get the tools okay guys I got my Dremel light tool not actually a Dremel tool it's Performax it's really crappy except just like a Dremel only a third the price and doesn't work as good so you can go get yourself one at Menards if you want. Basically, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cutting disc, and I think it's a 64th. No, uh, this one's a 32nd of an inch. We're going to just run it up to speed, and we're just going to dive. We're going to dive it right into here, and we're going to see if we can't cut those treads a little deeper. Okay, so you can see my first problem is it's wanting to roll away from me. So I'm just going to run the RPMs way up. And there it's wanting to take the whole plane away this time. Well, that seems to be working pretty awesome, guys. I'm trying to give you a good view of it, but it just doesn't want to doesn't want to show up very well. Even right under the light, you can see we're getting a little extra depth there. We'll keep doing that here, and uh, might try to get some supplemental light for us. Okay, guys. I got some supplemental light going and then I took away my white backdrop, that helped a lot. Boy, that'll, that'll burn your finger. It's rubbing that stuff off so quick. Well guys, it's definitely doing the trick. Um, the tread isn't quite as perfect as I had hoped it might turn out, but it's also very hot, so be careful. Sorry about the interruption, guys. Boy, I mentioned it gets kind of hot, didn't I?
The idea is if you can control the, the spinning, you'll get a nice clean even cut. a bummer. Okay guys. The other side effect I'm hoping that this causes is that it's a more spongy appearing tire because there's a lot of material coming off of there. I'll try to give you a shot so you can see that. You can kind of see the light shining through the reflection from that overhead light there. And then this is compared to this one here. It's still going to look really nice on the ground. You're not going to be able to really tell that much. And I think the tires are probably going to wear a little bit quicker. But the name of the game is to keep it light, right? So I'll do the rest of these tires here. Uh, won't bore you with watching every step. But I'll show you at the end so you can enjoy it. Okay, guys. You may have heard me say I'm an industrial scale technician. I work on scales for a living. And... Of course, I've got this really crappy kitchen scale that I use to measure these things. And of course, I forgot to start the project by measuring it, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, I gotta actually hang this over the edge so that the tail of the plane goes over. See, it's off there. So it weighs 0 0.095, 0 0.094. So it's basically. 95 grams so 95 94 grams so we'll see what it looks like when I'm done shaving these tires and I'll give you a shot of that okay folks I got some gloves and I've changed my method you might as well do it this way it's a lot easier and more secure so you don't get this crappy look get your thing sped up to speed hold the tire still plunge cut each of the grooves Get it to the desired depth, and then rotate. Don't do as much on this outside edge or you're going to lose all your tire mass. So I go about half as deep there. Then the rest of them, I go pretty much all the way down to the edge of the cutting disc. I'm really wanting this thing to deflect when it lands, so it looks like it's full of air. That'd be so cool but I'm guessing it's not gonna work that good. So far it looks kind of crappy. But you know what? It's these stupid little projects that'll just be in my head until I try it. If I don't try it, then I'll wonder about it. So it's like when you get yourself a plane and you hate it, and you say, I had have seen that online a million times and said I, I have to have it at some point. That's the way I look at it. So I'm just showing you this process and then you guys can try to duplicate it if you want. Didn't really expect it to be as hard as it's been. Big surprise, right? Feels like maybe I'm getting to the spot where I've got everything already cut. So maybe I'm just cutting between my cut points on the disc. I 
I told you I wouldn't bore you by making you watch the whole thing, but that was back when it was just spinning like crazy. See, and I'm getting less resistance as I try to dig the blade. Okay, so the other thing is you don't want to probably get caught doing this on your wife's countertops or she's not going to be too happy with you. So I'm kind of wiping it up periodically and shaking it off in the garbage can. Um, you can see it still looks pretty decent. From the side you wouldn't know any better. I'm just looking for squish. That's what I want. I want it to squish. And it looks like it might be doing that a little bit, which is pretty sweet. So let's measure this plane. Remember, we already had the wheel half cut. Um, all right, so we're in kilos, so also known as decimal grams. So I'm gonna flip this over. Looks like we've saved tons of weight, guys. Looks like we saved one gram so far. But it's like they say in football, it's a game of inches. In this case, it's a game of grams, evidently. So maybe I lost two grams on that one tire, which is pretty sweet because we still have the cool look other than the gouges, which I think I'm gonna be able to largely avoid on this other side. Um, so I'll go ahead and pause it. I won't bore you with watching the whole other side get cut, but I will show you the after effects here. So you can make your, you can make your best judgment on whether or not you wanna try to cut up your $8 wheels or whatever these things cost. Okay, guys. Just got done chop in the other tire. Jeez, there was a lot of black stuff on there. Um, you can see we're at zero. And we'll just lay this on here. Yes! <laughs> we got no weight savings. Uh, evidently, it's uh, exactly the same weight as it was before, which I don't know if I necessarily buy that. But, um, you know, there had to have been at least a gram of savings. But either way... It does look kind of like it might be a little more squishy now. So I'm kind of excited to try it out. See how it's going to work. Probably pick up a lot of crap and debris now. And when I bring it in and put it where it goes, and it'll just track a bunch of junk in now. But if you guys want to waste like 20 minutes of your life, feel a little better about your tire weight, go for it, man. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be awesome when I take it up and fly it. It's pretty amazing the amount. Uh, a difference in flyability when you lose a couple grams worth of weight on a plane this size um, or conversely when you add that much weight but from the side it still looks good you're never gonna know it unless it's uh, this will get worn down a little bit I just hope they don't collapse on one another because that's not gonna look so great but anyway thanks for watching guys now you can decide whether or not it's worth doing on your own carbon cub SS Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.